Well, hello everyone! Welcome back to RedTube.com slash JumpForce. There's been some confusion, anger, and a tiny bit of happiness spread around the JumpForce community when it comes to the new DLC chosen for Season 2. Even I don't really know how to feel about it, but there is reasoning for why every slot was chosen for a particular series, and today you're gonna hear those freaking explanations. My Hero Academia was chosen as the first series to be represented in DLC Season 2. Now, some of you may say things like, we don't need another My Hero Academia character, or it's not fair that My Hero Academia characters already have taken up two DLC slots prior. But those arguments are pretty irrelevant when it comes to Spike Chunsoft. You see, they knew what they were doing since the day they decided on the base roster. There is a reason why Deku was the only My Hero Academia character on day one. My Hero Academia has been pretty much the most famous modern shonen series for several years now. I could probably wear a shirt with any of the top 20 My Hero Academia characters and someone in public would recognize the character. You can't really say that for most series. So being so popular and so recognizable, it is guaranteed that the series will make a profit, which is why they purposely chose to give one base roster character and let the next three characters be DLC because that means more money. And Todoroki's fan base is way too big to not include him over any other character. The next series is Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, I pronounce the X. It's my second favorite series of all time. I pronounce it how I want. I don't know why I have to always explain this to people, but just so new anime weebs don't get triggered, that's why I pronounce the X. But we actually don't know yet who the Hunter x Hunter character is going to be for DLC. And I plan on discussing that further some other time, but the reason why Hunter x Hunter is getting another character really all stems from fans being confused and annoyed. Hunter x Hunter was represented in DLC Season 1 with Bisky Kruger, and when that was announced, everyone asked the same question, and that question was, who the hell asked for Bisky? It just made no sense. There was at least five other characters that would have made more sense to add. I'm sure the developers realized this and decided to meet the demand for a more requested Hunter x Hunter character with DLC. DLC Season 2. Yu Yu Hakusho is next on the list, and I think this one is pretty obvious. When the base roster was completed, Yu Yu Hakusho was represented by two characters, Yusuke, the main character, and Togoro, a villain. But Togoro is not the second most popular Yu Yu Hakusho character. That would be Hiei, which has caused rage and complaints for over a year by Yu Yu Hakusho fans, and Hiei always ends up being at least the fifth most requested character for DLC ever since the game launched, so it only makes sense to add him for DLC Season 2, although if they do decide to add a character who isn't Hiei instead, then that would just make no sense at all. Now we get to Bleach. Oh, Bleach. So people usually get on their period in the comments when I talk about Bleach in the DLC, but I mean, I've literally said Bleach is a good series, and I've said it deserves good representation in this game. So just because I don't watch Bleach Hentai does not mean I'm a hater. Bleach getting a 7th character added as DLC is overdoing it when characters like Yuno have been more requested, especially since Black Clover only has one character. But no matter how annoyed that makes me, there is still an obvious reason why they chose Bleach to get represented for the 7th time. Overall sales for the entire Bleach franchise have been significantly up over a year now which has led to the announcement of the anime returning. The developers have chosen to add another Bleach character in the heat of all the attention the series has gotten recently. And finally, we're left with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Do I even have to explain this? Out of every series in Jump Force, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has been the most requested for more representation. And out of every character you could choose for DLC, it seems that Giorno Giovanna has pretty much always been number one. It only makes sense to give the fans what they want. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I would appreciate it if you left a like before you go. My name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next video.